Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a new walkthrough. Um, this one will be the home security bundle with products. Now this is a new type of video that I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of CPQ. So let me know if you want to see more of these CPQ videos. Um, let's go ahead and get started. This one has five different sections but I'm gonna be putting the first two together. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this one, you're just going to sign in to your, or create a new developer organization. They, Salesforce and Trailhead has a specific CPQ um, Trailhead. So I'm gonna launch this. I've already created it, logged into it. Um, so let's go ahead and launch it. and then verify for 100 easy, easy points. I'm sure that you could also find another tutorial on how to do that, and I'll try and link that um, down below for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next step. Okay, so this step we're going to be bundling together the different options and the different features. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to products. Go to all products. Um, and then we're gonna go to the home security console. Now this is a specific bundle that we have. So we're gonna go to the related tab all right, and now you can see that we have the different price books, the cost, the different options here. Um, what we're going to be doing is adding more options to this. So let's go ahead and under the options, let's go click new. All right, and then the next one we're going to do, we're going to find the door sensor. Number is going to be 10. This is going to be important um, because later we'll see this and we'll see why we're going to click required. So every time you have this bundle, this door sensor must be there. And the minimum quantity we're going to add is one. All right, let's go ahead and save. This might take a little bit. All right, so that's just the first one. And we have a list of, my one is eight more that we need to do. So bear with me and I'll go through and explain what, what all we're adding here. So let's go to, this one is going to be window. I can't spell today, window sensor. Let's add that. Number is gonna be 20. And selected is going to be true. So the selected button, what that's going to do is it's going to automatically select it. We're not going to hit required, um, but it'll just be selected when you add this and the sales reps can unselect it. Let's click save. All right, we're going to do another one. This one is going to be a motion sensor. And all we're going to do is add it and the number is going to be 30. Next one will be the external or exterior camera. So we'll click that from the drop down. It's going to be 40 going along. What we've already done, hit select it and save and new so that we don't have to go back to the page. Um, doorbell camera. doorbell's one word. Yep, doorbell camera. Number is going to be 50 and it will automatically be selected. Next one is interior camera. 
number is going to be 60. Save and new. Home security monitoring. And number is going to be 70. We're going to automatically, or actually it's going to be required, minimum quantity of one. This way, every time someone has this home security console, they will get home security monitoring as well. All right, second to last one is home security installation. Number is 80. We're going to click true for selected. Sales reps can unselect it if they want to. The minimum quantity is one because they only need it once. Hopefully. Um, then deterrent window decal. This one's going to be 90. It's our last one selected. Minimum quantity is two but we're gonna have the quantity be editable. All right, let's click save. All right, now we've done adding all the different products to our bundle. We're gonna go to features next. So let's go new, new feature, sensors. Number is gonna be 10. Minimum options is going to be zero. We're going to click save and new, and this is a great way to bundle the different features or group the different features together. The next one is going to be cameras, and you'll see how we can group all these things together in just a little bit. Service is our last one. Number's gonna be 30. Minimum option, zero. Gonna click save. All right, so now we're gonna go down to the options. We're gonna start with the first one. Door sensor is gonna go with the sensors feature. So let's go here under the feature, type in sensors, and it usually pops up after about three, three letters, excuse me. All right, and do the next for the window sensor. And motion sensor. All right, next we're gonna go down to exterior camera, and this is going to be, you got it, under cameras. And doorbell camera. Interior camera. All right, and we've got two more. We're going to click view all. It's going to take us to a list view. Um, and then home security monitoring is the next one. Going to edit, and it's going to go under service. The same for home security installation. We're going to click save. All right, now we're gonna test all of this. So let's go to accounts, all accounts. We're gonna want the Fernando estate. Being directed to click the related tab and go to quote number nine or Q0009. And from here, go to edit lines up here. This one, you might think you want to go the related, but we're going to go to edit lines. All 
All right, so now we're going to add a product to our quote. I'm just gonna search for home security. Home security console, we're going to select it. All right, now you see all of the different things we've added to our quote. And the sales reps can unselect in different selections here for the different options that we have and the different uh, columns that we have, like quantity, list price. Sometimes they can do that, but it looks like on here it's locked. Um, but we don't need to do any editing here, so we're going to click Save. to save this quote. All right, so that's the last step that we have for here. Let's go ahead and check this challenge. All right, so let's go ahead and um, troubleshoot this. Project features exist with all the following properties. Feature name equals camera minimum options one number equals 20. So let's go ahead and go back to products. Check out our home security console. From here, we know it has something to do with our cameras. So let's go ahead and find cameras, the number field, edit. That's a bummer. Hmm. That was a little weird. I don't know what happened. Um, everything was configured properly, but it says this challenge has already been completed. So let's go ahead and refresh it. I think that was a little bit of a bug. So thank you for watching and sticking through with part one and part two of the Create a Home Security Bundle with Product Rolls. It was a little rough, um, but we got it. Thank you for joining me. Be, her, be sure to click subscribe and check out for number three. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing part three of create a home security bundle with product rules. So we are going to go ahead and get started with create an alert product rule. Let's go ahead and click on it. So we're going to be displaying an error message when um, a bundle only has one particular sensor, and this is going to be on the window sensor. So the first one is we're going to create the product rule for the particular product. Um, and then we're going to attach it and create the error conditions. And then we're going to apply it to the particular bundle and then we're going to test it out. So let's go ahead and jump in where we left off and get started. First thing we're gonna do is go to product rules. Gonna hit new. 
This one is going to be called Window Sensor Warning. Type is an alert. In the scope, we're going to put it on the product and rather on the quote. Um, an evaluation event is on the save, so it's going to fire when it's on the save. It's going to be an active rule. So if you were doing this in your own org um, and you were just doing it directly in production, which I don't recommend, make sure that this is not active until you are ready to activate it and all the parts and pieces have been tested and, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, for conditions met, we're going to click all. And in the message field, we're going to grab this from our instructions. And place it here. All right, we're going to click save. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the error conditions. And look, we have a related list for our error conditions, so let's click new. Um, tested attribute is what we're going to grab, or actually the tested. Hmm. Tested object, excuse me. I'm going to go to product option. And then we're going to click the product code where it equals value. And then again, I'm going to go over and copy this window sensor. These things are always so tricky. All right, save and new. And this one is going to be where this product specifically um, equals one. So we're going to grab a quantity equals a value of one and save. All right, the next part we're going to do in this rule is create a configuration rule. This is going to be active. In the product field, we're going to grab home security bundle or console, excuse me and click save. All right, now we're going to test it. So let's click accounts. Go to the Fernando estate. Related. And then we're going to go to quotes. Let's find quotes. We're going to click quote 10 and edit some lines, add products, and again, we're going to go to the home security console and select it. All right. And window sensor should be here. And it should be checked and we have one. All right, let's go ahead and try and save this and see if it popped up with an error message. Hmm, did not pop up with an error message. So let's go ahead and see if we've finished this. It looks like we have finished this. So what I believe is happening is that I'm using another, the similar org and I've done this twice. So what should happen is that you should get an error message. Um, 
when you are within the quote and the lines of the quote. Um, and then you just have to go back and edit the window sensors to two and then it won't fire. Um, so thank you for watching number three of this home security bundle video tutorial. Um, be sure to hit like and subscribe and join me for part four. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing part four of create a home security bundle with product rules. So we've already created the bundle, we've already created one product rule. We're going to be going to part four, which is creating a selection product rule. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this one is gonna be a little bit more fun, I think, in my opinion. Um, we're gonna create a selection rule to hide an irrelevant option. So what that essentially means is that um, whenever an option shouldn't be selected based on things you've already selected or things that you've already done, it will just hide the option to add that to your quote. Um, and it'll make more sense as we get into it. So let's go ahead and jump into our org and go to product rules. And we're going to go new. This one is going to be hide installation. Type is going to be selection. Scope is going to be product. Um, evaluation event is on load. So whenever the quote loads, um, it's just not going to be an option. Let's see, we're going to check active again. Disclaimer, don't do this directly in your production org um, or else things are gonna be kind of screwy for a little bit. Uh, make sure that you test everything fully, you know, the whole deal. Um, we're going to go all conditions must be met and click save. All right, the next thing is we're gonna just go down this related list. Click new under error conditions. Tested object is on the quote object and it'll be your partner. So partner field does not equal a blank value. So if your, um, your account does not have a partner, then the installation will be hidden. So let's going to go ahead and click save. Now the next one we're going to do is the action. So we're going to click new under action. Type is going to be hide and remove. You have to scroll down a little bit there. Under product it's going to be home security not console installation. And click save. Now we're going to add the configuration rule. It's going to be active and it's going to be on the console. All right, now this is all saved. Let's go ahead and test this out. We've been testing on the Fernando estate. So let's go ahead and look to see if they have a partner. They do not have a partner account, so it should fire. All right, we're going to quote 11. I'm gonna edit lines. Add products. We're going to check the home security console and select. Hmm. Home security installation is here. That is very interesting. So let's go ahead and go back here and see if this throws an error. That's always super important. Um, to helping troubleshoot is to see if this does fire. Uh, 
That's really interesting. Um, what I believe is happening here is I've used this organization before um, to do this when testing. So that is how you create the product rule and it should fire, but otherwise you would get the points. So thank you for joining me for part four of create a home security bundle with product rules. Be sure to join me for part five. Hello, welcome back to part five of create a home security bundle with product rules. Um, we've gone through st the first through fourth parts of this project on Trailhead. So let's go ahead and go into number five. All right, this one, we're gonna be creating a validation rule within CPQ. If you've been in Salesforce for a little bit, you already know what a validation rule is. It's a rule that prevents you from saving. It kind of shows you, hey, you may have an error here and they're set up by your admin. Um, for this specific one, we're going to be creating a rule to prevent us from adding duplicate bundles. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, we're gonna go to summary variables and we're gonna click new. Now I'm gonna copy and paste the name just cause it's a long one. Um, All right, then we're gonna choose aggregate function as a summary or sum. And then we're gonna keep that as quantity. Target object. Let's see, target object is going to be quote line. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. Um, then we're going to go to filter field as product code and make sure that equals home security console. And again, I'm gonna go over and grab this. All right, we're gonna click save. All right, next we're gonna go to product rules. And then we're gonna create another one another new rule gonna go back and copy this it's just gonna prevent duplicate bundles these things are so darn tricky there we go Oops. as far as type it's going to be validation and then evaluation event is going to be on the save for conditions met, we're gonna go all conditions. And then message, we're gonna copy and paste that. And let's go and click save. All right, now we're gonna do error conditions. I'm going to click new. tested variable we're going to grab that last variable that we just made the sum of quantity for home security bundle and let's see if it's we're going to fire this if it's greater than one now we're going to click save all right let's go ahead and check off this challenge of course, you can go in and test it and make sure that it works, and I encourage you to do so. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna check it to see if it throws any errors. All right, we did it. Thank you for watching um, part five of Create a Home Security Bundle. Be sure to check out my challenge, my channel, um, for other videos on CPQ, on Trailhead, on Salesforce in general. So thank you for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and join me. For